there, it's Sanu, your IKEA enthusiast back again. Nice to meet you all. In this video, I'll introduce some brilliant IKEA products that showcase genius ideas. This is the Japanese version of the channel, and I haven't made an English version yet. But last year, my video on IKEA's innovative products garnered over 800,000 views. Today, I'll be introducing some items that will make you go, Wow, that's clever. IKEA designs all of its products in-house, which means they have unique and one-of-a-kind innovative items. Let's get started. First, let's look at the sliding hook. This is a part of IKEA's closet system, and it consists of a hook and a sliding rail set. By installing this in narrow spaces, it becomes a very useful pull-out storage solution. While its primary use is in closets, you can actually install it anywhere, like on walls or furniture. I saw on social media that some people have installed it in the gap between their fridge and the wall. I have decided to install mine in the space next to my washing machine. Here's the gap I'm talking about. Let me show you how it works. It slides so smoothly. I use screws to install it, but to avoid making large holes, I cut the wallpaper in a U shape and made the holes underneath. Since my wall was plasterboard with no studs, I used this handy product, which acts like an anchor for the plasterboard, allowing you to securely screw it in. After securing it with two screws and attaching the hook to the rail, it was all set. It was surprisingly simple. You need a gap of at least seven centimeters to install this. I made it so that it sticks out a bit when pulled out. I hung some alcohol and alkaline sprays at the back and a Makita vacuum cleaner at the front. There's a power outlet right next to the washing machine so it's convenient for charging as well. I made it stick out a bit in the front to use it as a light drying rack. The height matches the washing machine, so it looks neat and I'm quite satisfied with it. Despite being made of steel and very sturdy, it's surprisingly affordable. If you want to use plasterboard pins in a rental property, I'm not sure if you can use them because the pins may interfere with the rails. I'm also worried about the load. Next up is a personal favorite from my recent purchases. A combination smartphone stand and pen holder, but I use it to hold a notepad, making it easy to write and check my to-do list. Here's an innovative use that's trending on social media. Use it in the kitchen as a pot lid stand. The pen holder part can hold a ladle. It's a stylish beige color, adding a cute touch to your kitchen. This item is also very affordable. It's light, so sometimes it's not stable. One concern is that since it's made of paperboard, it might not be washable, but it's a clever use of the product. Now, let's look at the cable organizer from the same series. It's a genius idea with a cute design, unlike typical cable boxes that try to blend into the wall. It has a good size and large holes, making it very functional. For travel, I recommend this portable laundry drying hanger. It's always in my bag, along with this detergent. It's flat, 
but can clamp items securely, which is a brilliant invention. It's incredibly handy and very affordable. The latest version is a lighter green. Even though hotels have hangers, it's hard to hang multiple socks. So this rack is really useful. Next, I want to show you a genius use for IKEA's popular Gladium side table. By placing a tray on the lower shelf and another tray from IKEA on top, you can use the bottom as extra storage. It's quite cute, don't you think? This is a great idea for anyone who has or plans to buy a Glidem side table. Now let's look at battery operated candles. I bought new ones that have significantly improved. The old ones used AAA batteries, but the new ones use AA batteries, so take note. There are sets of three candles, but I only bought one. IKEA US has a promotion. Buy two ladder, get 150% off. Offer valid from May 15th, 2024 until June 11, 2024. The key point is these rechargeable batteries are made in Japan, which is great value. Using rechargeable batteries means you can charge them directly. There's a switch on the back with OFF, 6H and a hand symbol. It's hard to see with the naked eye, but the camera picks it up clearly. In a dark room, the flame-like flicker is soft and gentle. The hand symbol means you can turn it off with a sensor by just waving your hand. It's really convenient for when you're about to go to sleep. However, I found out it uses a Type B charger, not Type C which caught me off guard since there's a law in the EU aiming to standardize to type C. But IKEA's latest portable light uses type C. It's also rechargeable. The key point is that if you use rechargeable batteries, you can charge them by directly plugging them into the cable. It's very convenient and makes you want to use rechargeable batteries instead of disposable batteries. I filmed this at night to show you the flickering flame effect. Setting it to 6H means it will turn off automatically after 6 hours and light up again 24 hours later. It's affordable and very convenient. Next, let's look at this over-the-door hanger similar to the first hook, but this one hangs over the door. It's steel and very sturdy. But if you can't reach high spots, I have a solution. I combined it with this memo board, originally for displaying postcards. It comes with cute golden clips. I couldn't find this exact model overseas, but the larger black version is available. To prevent it from moving, I used sticky tack from Kokuyo on the corners and fixed it to the door.
this door is to a storage room. Adding hooks, I hung cleaning tools. It works well even if it's not for a storage room. I hung it over the door in the same way. And as you can see, it doesn't wobble when the door is opened and closed. It's at a height that children can easily reach so they can hang their hats or quickly hang their bags. It's very convenient. It doesn't interfere with the door opening properly. Next, IKEA has released an amazing new product. This is a door opening sensor. I also purchased a smart bulb. So basically, when the door opens, the light turns on. It's very convenient, isn't it? It's battery operated using one AA battery sold separately. It has two parts with adhesive backing. I installed it in my storage room and synced it with the smart bulb. It was easy and the response is quick. The light turns on when the door opens and off when closed, preventing you from forgetting to turn it off. This is great for walk-in closets too. I used to leave the storage room light on all the time. So this solution is really helpful. It reacts faster than a motion sensor and can turn off the light immediately, which is great. Thank you for watching until the end. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd be delighted to read your comments.